Hey you! Still doing motion graphics the old-fashioned way? Well, tell those keyframe animations to kiss the fattest part of your ass. Cause here comes Animation Composer. The plugin for After Effects that grabs keyframe animation by the back of the head and says, Suck my balls. Would you like to know more? You're damn right you do. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning you good. Now guys, next week is the second season finale of Film Learning, so just like with last season, we're going to finish off the year with a subscriber Q&A session. So if you have a question about anything at all, let me know down in the comments, or on my Twitter, or on the Facebook. No question will go unanswered. So today, I want to introduce you to a new plugin that I've recently discovered that will not only save you a ton of time, but it's free too. Now before we get into it, I just want to say that I'm not getting paid for this. If only, you know what I'm saying? I merely think it's a cool plugin that's worth talking about. So with that out of the way, let me introduce you to Animation Composer from Mr. Horse. No sir, I don't like it. No, not that one. Maybe. In its most basic terms, Animation Composer allows you to skip the whole tedious process of keyframe animation in your motion graphics by having a bunch of preset animations to apply directly to your layers in both 2D and 3D. I used it to build the opening sketch and that took me about 10 minutes all up, so let's take a closer look. Okay guys, here we are in After Effects, and all I have here is a very simple comp set up with four text layers and a shape layer as a background. So I'm going to show you how to animate each layer of text in less than 5 minutes. So first things first, let's stagger these layers so they follow one after another, like so. We'll then head up to Window and select Animation Composer. As you can see we have three different folders, 2D Layer Transformations, 2D Text and 3D Layer Transformations. For our purposes, let's click on 2D Text. As you can see, you also get a bunch of subfolders describing the functions instead of a whole bunch of presets cobbled together. And when you click on one, you get this nice little preview. Isn't that cute? Hmm, this one looks pretty good. So I'll just drag it into this section here and BAM! Our text is now animated. Pretty cool, eh? Now, say you want the animation a little bit faster. Just head down here and drag this arrow forward. If you want it slower, just drag it back. It's that easy. Now I think I might do all of my animations with this preset, so I'll just head back up, hit copy, select all of my layers, and hit paste. I'll turn on motion blur for the comp and the layers, and let's check out a preview. Done! If you decide you don't like those animations and you want to do some others, just select the layer, hit remove, find another one, and just drop it straight in. And if you want to get fancy, you can even make your layers 3D, add a camera and do a little bit of pan and tilt action. Not bad, eh? Seriously gang, there are over 100 different preset options here, so here's some examples of what you can do. Now there may be over 100 presets with the free download, and don't get me wrong, it's a very large sample of options with the free version, but if you wanted to, Mr. Horse has several paid expansion packs for Animation Composer that'll bring it up to the thousands. Feel free to check them out in the description below. So guys, that's a quick look at Mr. Horse's Animation Composer. It's a massive time saver, and if you have the money to spare, you can upgrade it to feature over 1,000 preset animations to use in your work. Each of the animations are fully customizable, and on top of that, it's easy to use. I highly recommend checking this out by clicking the link in the description. I'd also like to let you know that Marvel Madness starts tomorrow, with yours truly posting a daily review of every single movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, ending with Avengers Age of Ultron. So I hope you enjoy that, and until next week my eager young ragamuffins, keep learning!